So we recently had our fight about me hating your hair. <laughs> and in general, I have friends who are in, let's just call them awful relationships, and they don't want to know about it. They're like, just don't tell me what you think. Just go along with it. I'm happy. Yeah. To me, I'm like, I'm lying to these people. And fine, they'd ask me to, and I'm like, I make it clear, like, you're telling me not to say something that I want to say. Fine, we'll go with that. But when you come crying in the end, I'm not going to be there to hold your hand. What honesty amount do you want from your friends? What do you expect from 100%, people? 100%. Always. 100%. Always. I have no problem with it. I really don't. Like, because I'm always 100% honest with people. Like, and it's not even just about relationships. It's about any kind of life decisions that people want to make, whether it be as small as dyeing your hair or Ooh. as big as going back with that abusive boyfriend of yours. Like, I will always be honest if you ask me about it. Okay, I was gonna I'm say. not gonna, I'm okay. not gonna be like... Hey, you look terrible today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've done because it. Because it's not you <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, I will, whenever I ask someone's honest opinion, I expect them to be fully honest. And if they don't, then that's their own problem. If they feel they can't be honest with me, then that's their own problem. I can always be honest Does with Does that someone. get you in trouble, the, the amount of honesty that you are with I people? mean, I, some people are not happy with, with what I tell them, but at the end of the day, if you're my friend, that's not really gonna affect anything, right? Yeah. Like if, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, no, I get it, Yeah, Patrick. I think it's an evolving thing for me, to be specifically because of you, I think, because you are <laughs> one of the most honest friends that I have, and I know what you say about other people, and so I don't know if I would wanna know those things sometimes but I think that generally when it comes to my relationships in the past like a lot of the stuff that you said after the fact was pretty true in terms of like the bad things and I think maybe I don't know it would have been I guess positive for me to hear those things and to discuss it and during yeah but you made it clear you don't want to hear those things like you don't want. but I, like I said it's evolving okay. so I think that like I you know I've matured and that <laughs> yeah, <Harris telling> me. <laughs> it's always hair. like it's always good like especially I mean, if, if you're in a relationship like that, it's always good to get an, like, an opinion because you're always in a, not you, I'm just yeah. like the general you, are always in like a pink cloud, right? Yeah. Of, of your romance. It's great, it's perfect. It's, it's, yeah. it's great, but at the end of the day, you're completely pulled away from your entire life. I mean, a lot of this keeps coming down from relationship. It's not just that. It's not, it's, me, a, it's more about life in general. Yeah, and I, I want it. You know I've never been mad. Like, I, I'll shoot the messenger, I'll get mad if you say something I don't like, but yeah. that's not it. I will never be mad at you for being yeah. honest. Yeah. I might just not like what you're telling me, and that's fine, and I would way rather deal with that. Like, anyone I've even gone on a date with, I'm like, tell me every single flaw about this person right now because I want to know yeah. what you guys think because I might be fucking clouding and have no idea what's happening here. Fair enough. So you need to keep it evolving. <laughs> <laughs>